Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the grid. I really wanted to say that. Let's just see if you can guess where that's from. The grid. Okay, so what is the grid we speak of? It is a two-dimensional system of displaying content and grouping it, helping users see the content they want without overcluttering their view, but providing a means for developers to put a lot of content on the screen as well. A bootstrap describes, describes their grid using the following words. Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile first, fluid grid system that appropriately scales up to 12 columns as the device or viewport size increases. It includes predefined classes for easy layout options as well as powerful mixins for generating more semantic layouts. So let's go to the bootstrap website as they have great examples to demonstrate the grid. So it's going to go to bootstrap. Ah, not connected to the internet. <laughs> right there, refresh. We're going to go to getbootstrap.com as that is the official website. I don't always call, obviously, I know it's called get bootstrap because you're going to get bootstrap, but I thought it would just be called bootstrap.com. Okay, either way, now what you want to do is go to components. I feel like I'm on the wrong page here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, uh, getting started. If you scroll down, there'll be a section here where you've got examples. I just want to go on the grid one. That's the simplest one to demonstrate. So, what we're going to do is just talk about what this grid is. So, it's got three equal columns it's code dash md dash four. These are classes for divs. And um, what this basically stands for is column and medium screen size. We'll be talking more about the different screen sizes of the next few tutorials. And four means how many column spaces it, it spans. Again, like I said before, based on what Bootstrap described, it's 12 column spaces. So there's four here, four here, four here, totaling 12, but they don't have to be equal because these are three unequal columns. So three, six, and three. So that's three, nine, and twelve. There's eight and twelve. Basically, you can have any integer between one and twelve. So you could have one, 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 uh, and basically twelve ones, or you could have two twos and an eight. And so for actually, you don't even have to have up to twelve. That's not a necessity or anything. So let's just show you what happens when we resize the browser. As you can see, it's readjusted itself, and because there's not enough space to really fit them all now. It's just gone one on top of each other. So you don't have to scroll left and right, and this works great on mobile devices. Because if you have a look, this is more of a mobile device screen size. This is round about tablet. This is about de desktop, and this will be a larger desktop. So that's how the grid system works. Bootstrap has a mobile first strategy which says uh, determine what is the most important content for the user, design it to fit on smaller widths first, then size it for larger screens. Basically, make it so it fits well on a screen this small and then just size it up accordingly and move stuff across. But based, based on their grid system, you don't really have to do any specific coding because it just adjusts it. Self. The CSS is designed for mobile with MIDI queries to handle tablets and desktops which will be covered later in the series. The grid system uses a series of rows and columns that contains the website's content. This is how the system works. Rows must be placed within a container class to allow for proper padding and alignment. And then within them you would get these sort of columns. So basically this is a row right here. So you use a combination of rows to create horizontal groups of columns. Basically what we have here, we got a horizontal group of three columns and this will be a row and this will most likely be a row as well. Content should be placed within the columns so the content for, for this is .co-md-4 and this is placed within this particular column. Bootstrap provides classes such as row and col uh, medium four for quickly making grid layers but like I said we'll cover the different screen sizes of the next few tutorials. Grid columns are essentially created by specifying the amount of column grid spaces as we mentioned and it, it takes using the column class for the different sizes. We have now discussed what a grid is and how Bootstrap 
how it does it. In the next tutorial will cover setting up a bootstrap project. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.